Well, welcome to the Asheville Viking Festival. I'm John Simon, owner of Gothic Edge. It's one of our favorite festivals to do. Uh, there's a lot of Ren fairs and medieval fairs and Celtic shows, but this is one of the few Viking festivals in the country. It's a very fun, casual, friendly atmosphere. Because of the smallness of it and the people that run it, it's very community-style fair, and the crowd is very friendly. Kind of unique. You get a lot of barbarians walking around and a lot of Vikings, uh, which you don't see at all the other festivals. The Viking Festival is more like coming to visit family, and your family appreciates what you do normally. <laughs> The movie fair that we saw last night was an awakening. It makes me think of that I'm an, I'm no longer an outcast because there's other people that enjoy just going out and having fun and dressing up. <laughs> First of all, I was nervous because I've seen a lot of other things about fairs that struck me as pretty much awful. This is good. There's no question about it. This is good. I think it's a very good documentary of uh, fairs in general, particularly California fairs, and of course definitely the early days of uh, the Pleasure Fair, the Southern Pleasure Fair. Very it, it good. Was, it was very well put together. It was very sad, and I, I love the way that it made me feel about it. I felt like I did, you know, about you know, 15 years ago when I started in the fairs. And I think it should be seen by every Ren Fair in the country. I can understand how it, how it, how the whole fair thing started in the 60s. I can understand that and I can also really relate to how it has evolved through the years because our own group were having that trouble. The, the people who started it are aging, they're, they're getting out of it and we're having trouble getting young people in who want to have the same enthusiasm and, and enjoy the, the, the older groups did. It's hard <laughs> to get new members in. I do see the change that we're speaking of in the film. I actually see completely different approach to how fair it is. And it's losing a lot of the magic of it. I can really relate to what they were expressing. I've seen the slow change in everybody's attitudes towards it, going from the magic is real to, oh, it's just another job for me. And that's what really kills me. My personal opinion, and when they tried to push the more family-oriented, you also lost the, the essence of the time period, or what you were trying to portray. I think that the, the owners have gotten a lot more PC and politically correct, which I'm not so sure is what the customer is looking for a lot of times. So It's become real frustrating during Renaissance fairs because there's so much commercial jewelry that's brought in. I mainly focus just on jewelry. There's still good artists, good, very good artists out on the circuit, but they have become rarer as more people's gone in. It's went more commercial. It seems like the huge vendors that import most of their stuff are kind of pushing everybody else out. I'd love to see more shows where it's oriented to people who are really making their jewel, their products, their jewelry or garments or whatever. I think it's a dying art and I really would hope that people would see the quality in the handmade items. So people really need to try to support the art community and there needs to be a big change in a lot of the shows.